What's going on YouTube? Jurassic Mongoose here. And I've just discovered that ARC has jiggle physics. This ladies and gentlemen is how you get more subscribers here on YouTube. Anyway, what we are going to be doing today is taming the newest addition to the ARC Editions mod. That being this lanky fellow right here, the Dinotherium. The mods that I am going to be using to assist in the taming process are Awesome Spyglass, Creature Finder Deluxe, and Dino Storage Version 2. Links to those mods can be found in the video description. Dinotheriums spawn in groups of 3 to 4 and are aggressive to the player, so in order to tame one you are going to need to pick off the other ones in the pack. I'm going to be bringing along a Spino to help assist with that and a blood crystal wyvern. Once we've singled out the Dinotherium that we wish to tame, we will need to feed it beer by placing that in our hot bar in the last slot. You're going to need to follow some visual cues that the Dinotherium is going to give you and I will explain that in greater detail once we start the taming process. As always, if you find these videos helpful or just enjoy watching my content, consider subscribing, dropping a like, or leaving a comment below. All that stuff is greatly appreciated. The first step of this taming process is going to be to single him out and get rid of the other Dinotheriums, which can be a bit difficult. I've tried to clear this area, but there's still a couple Pegomastax down there, so I'm going to try to avoid them. This one's got some cool colors. He looks like the American flag right on. So when you start getting close, you'll see them stick their nose up in the air like they're trying to sniff you out. Okay, so that's the first step done. So now what we got to do is try and get out of here. So I'm going to try to kite him around again, see if I can get him stuck. Or get myself stuck. And then I'm going to jump off the Spino and run back to the Wyvern and fly away. Okay, I think. So I'm just going to fly out of render distance and then we'll come back and then we can start the actual tame. Alright, so we've flown out of render distance and we're going to come back with the beer in the hot bar and we're just going to approach him. Nice and casual like. Okay. So, they're going to give you a couple of visual cues with their head. So right now you see he's got his trunk kind of facing straight down and he's flapping his ears. That's what you want. That means, there we go. That means they are friendly, so to speak. And he already took one. There is no cooldown between feedings. You can just do one right after the other. I'm pretty sure the ears have to be sticking straight out. So let's try again. Yeah, like that, I believe. And nope. Okay. All right, let's try it again. Take it. So jumping up to the trunk seems to help get him to come on. All 
All right, that's the second feeding. So this is kind of the most difficult part for me is discerning its visual cues. It can be kind of difficult. And he will go after your mount, so you want to try to keep them away from your mount. Come on. Stop moving, you idiot. I don't know why he got mad. Guess because I bumped into the Gallimimus and that's his friend. Alright, rinse and repeat. Okay, you get your ears out. Take it. Yeah, you don't have to press anything like E. It'll just take it right out of your inventory. It does work. And I'm not sure if there's a time limit, like if you have to stand under it for a certain... Really? I like how he did not care at all that I just got swarmed, but when I bumped into the galley, he got mad. Oh, he, well, he took one of the beers in the process, so... Not a total loss. So that's another stance they do, and I'm pretty sure that's a bad one too, where they curl their trunk around their mouth. So even though he's got his ears forward, it's like kind of like him saying, I'm not thirsty, I guess. But this one has proven me wrong a couple of times already. So. My guess is that there's just a little bit of bugginess in the AI. Um, so, when you go about taming one, uh, just just be aware of that. Come on. Come on. Uh, the other possibility is that they just switch stances in the middle of it. I, I don't know if it does or if it stays in the same stance when you approach it. Take a drink. Come on, freshman. Drink! There he goes. Okay. One more. So he's gotten himself in a inconvenient position. I don't know if jumping is necessary, but it seems to help, so I do it. Just take the beer. Who says no to free beer? Come on. There we go. This one's good name is going to be Merca. Because he's got the American flag colors. Hell yeah. All right, gonna take him back to base, throw a saddle on him, and show you all what they can do. We can unlock the Dinotherium saddle at level 95. Now that we've got him saddled up, let's see what the Dinotherium has to offer. Your left click will give you a stomp that you can use while moving forward. It'll gather fiber and berries from bushes. The right click will give you a trunk swing that'll gather wood and thatch from trees and C will do the roar the male dinotherium will give you an attack buff and the female will give you a defensive buff also with the left click if you aim at least 90 degrees from where the Dinotherium is facing, it will rear up on its hind legs and come down and do a double stomp, which does extra damage. Let's see if I can demonstrate that real quick on this saber tooth. All right, so I'm gonna be facing this way. I'm gonna aim this way. Turn around. Boom. 
finally, they also have a cosmetic roar with control. Doesn't do anything, just sounds and looks cool. Other than that, that is about it. Um, it is a very solid mount, super tanky, outputs a decent amount of damage, good at gathering things, uh, mainly wood, berries, fiber, and thatch, like the mammoth. I could definitely see these guys being used as a support role in uh, boss fights and also as a siege engine in um, PvP raids. So go out and get you one, check them out. And that is going to about wrap things up for the Dino Therium. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you haven't already, go check out my other taming videos here on this channel. That's it for now. Love you, bye.